Welcome to PGP Fortitude's new beginning stages of cooking. Where we make simple foods. Just so that uh, we can eat. So let's get into it. Today we're going to be making nachos. So first things first. We need to walk over and we need to grab some tortilla chips. Tortilla chips are the main ingredient in nachos, i.e. nachos. So, second thing second, we come over here to the fridge. We have Mexican four cheese, shredded cheese. We'll be using that here in a minute. Now, we'll come over here and we'll grab ourselves a good plate. Our little assistant here is helping out very graciously. Now, you take your chips, open them up clearly, put them on the plate, just like that, and that'll be all right. And then, you go separate them a little bit. Nobody wants uneven nachos. Take your chips, throw them away because they're junk. Now, we're gonna take our Mexican four cheese. Whoa, bud. We're gonna take our Mexican four cheese. We are simply going to dump it on. Nice and easy like, folks. You wanna get a good even spread across all chips. Nice and even. That's what we're working with right now. That's what we're working with right now. All right. And you're going to take cheese and put it back. Now, this is where if we had two camera angles, I could take you over, over yonder and I could do a time lapse in the microwave, but uh, the camera's broke right now, so you're just going to have to wait there and trust me that I'm doing it right. Take it over to the microwave. Into the microwave. Time cook, 45 seconds. Now, we pick up whatever mess we've made and throw it on the ground for the dogs later. Next, you're gonna wanna get out the best part. You got some salsa. Gotta have the salsa. Oh, but what is that you say? Your salsa isn't hot enough? I've got the solution for you. Cholulu's hot sauce. You can get it at any store around you. It's got this nice little twist top cork. And guess what? Hey, shit tastes good on everything. All right, so we got two seconds left here on our nachos. Our nachos are mm, now complete. Look at how beautifully these look. We won't spill any this time. Those look phenomenal. Now, what you gonna do? Open up your salsa. Open up your hot sauce. Take your hot sauce and put it on about half of the chips. Just a couple dabs here and there because you don't wanna counteract the salsa when you get that in there. And the only reason we're doing half is because who needs a full plate of hot nachos? No, uh, 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 uh. I don't think we're sharing with you. Put your hot sauce back. No. Take a look, see folks. See that? We're getting somewhere now. Here we go. Whoa, I know, I know it looks good. You wanna try a little piece? Here, I'll get you a piece of cheese. 
Here you go. Mmm. Yeah, buddy. All right, now, I'm gonna take your little salsa here. Set that aside. You're gonna get yourself a little jug. I'm gonna use this just because. Never mind. There, it's still dirty. So, on that note, we'll just eat out of the container. Now, we'll try one of the plain ones first. You just dip that bad Jackson right into your salsa. Mmm, delicious. Now, we're gonna give one with the hot sauce shot a shot here. So you have a little bit of hot sauce on there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, you wanna try some too? Sorry, I can't have hot sauce. Oh, you want your toy? All right, try some with the hot sauce. Mmm, delicious. That is gonna be a wrap for tonight's nachos. Stay tuned for future recipes that you can make in your college dorm room that you don't know how to cook. We'll see you next time on PGP42's cooking channel.